Hello again, it's Rob Salem here this time with Roger Goldby, the director of The Time of Their Lives, which is getting its uh, Eastern Canadian premiere tonight here at the Wilson Oakville Film Festival. Roger, welcome to Oakville. Thank you. It's lovely to be here. It's lovely to have you all the way from England. I know. It's a long way. <laughs> it is. Um, tell us a bit about the film. Uh, the film is about uh, two older ladies who go and have an adventure. Uh, uh, one, a Hollywood, ex-Hollywood star played by Joan Collins, uh, teams up by accident with an English housewife played by Pauline Collins, and two very different people, uh, and they team up and uh, Joan Collins' character persuades uh, Pauline's character to come uh, on a road trip to France to get to a funeral. Uh, and that's basically it. Yeah. And they meet along the way, they meet up with the wonderful Franco Nero, who plays a, uh, a reclusive Italian artist. And um, yeah, I guess it's, it's about uh, female friendship and the transformative power of female friendship about two uh, and how, how they change each other uh, on, on, their, on this road trip. Yeah, it's, a, it's a buddy flick, basically. Yeah, it's a buddy movie, I guess. Yes, it is a buddy movie. Yeah. Um, and uh, it was a joy to make. Yeah, the two actresses really spark together um, because they're so different. Yeah. Um, getting Joan Collins to play her age. Well, no, she doesn't actually breath. play her age. Well. She plays 70s. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, uh, yeah, she's playing 70s in the movie. But playing, a, <laughs> in, in, although she's playing a character very close to yes. herself, yeah. it is sub, it's kind of a role that we've not seen her in before. No, totally. Um, and, uh, you know, these film, the film, this film, I mean, I started writing it probably about 10, 15 years ago. And all films go through different permutations of finance, of development, and all the rest of it, and, and casting. And uh, it was about three years ago uh, we went to Joan to play uh, the part of Helen, this faded Hollywood star. And um, she was suggested, and I thought, I just thought, oh my God, she's absolutely perfect because because of all the baggage that she comes with, but also because she's got a great depth of performance, and she's also very funny. And then um, uh, and then Pauline was was again a very natural choice for um, the part of Priscilla, um, the kind of repressed English housewife. Again, she's got this baggage of Shirley Valentine, which is kind of hugely loved movie in the yeah, UK, I don't know about here. Yeah. Uh, and, um, <clears throat> but she is, an again, an incredible actress, uh, wonderful depth of performance, and also can do comedy. Yeah. And so we were very, you know, these things, the casting just came together perfectly. Yeah. We were very, very lucky. Um, and because the whole film relies on the performances of these two women. Without those performances, the film would be, you know, wouldn't be what it is. Yeah. And, and it's because of, it's precisely because of the differences between these two women. That, that's the whole point of the film, because they both, you know, uh, Helen's character, this faded, faded Hollywood star, is she's selfish, she's um, narcissistic, all these sorts of things. But also she hasn't, given up, she's got energy, she's got fun, uh, and she's going to go for things. Uh, and she helps pull Pauline out of her torpor and, um, and, and get her to, to make some changes. And then Pauline's character, Priscilla, um, on the, is, is, is more, I guess, a thoughtful character. And, you know, again, gives Joan's character, Helen, pause to think a little bit about who she is, and again, by the end of the movie, both of them have changed. And yeah, they've both learned from each other. They've both learned from each other, and um, I think audiences, well, I know audiences really identify with them and, uh, and enjoy, so I'm delighted with the whole thing. Like, having, having seen the film, I can't imagine two other people in those roles. That, that, this, that they, they, again, they spark yeah. together <clears> so well. Yeah, no. What was, uh, what was shooting, because you shot a lot on location. All on location, yeah. yeah. So it's a road movie, yeah. Uh, so what was, the, what was the challenges there? Well, the basic challenge was it was all on location. I think we had about 150, 60 locations. Um, 
we had to, uh, so they go, the, in the film they start off in London and then they end up in France. Um, and most of the film, in terms of the film, takes place in France. Mm. But, you know, this is an independent movie and, uh, you know, we had to be careful of our budget. So, in, in actual fact, we only went to France for a week. So, we shot our key exteriors for France in Ile de Ré, where they end up, and then we cheated a lot of stuff in the UK. So uh, a lot of France is actually cheated in the UK. Mm -hmm. So um, we were just very organized. We just needed to be extremely organized. We had a very good French uh, production company who set up that week in, in Ile de Ré uh, in France. And um, then we just went for it. Started filming, shooting, yeah. Uh, the uh, the addition of uh, Frank Nero to this group, yeah, it's, it's such an eccentric character. He was wonderful. Frank Franco uh, is a joy. He is such a lovely, lovely man, and um, <clears throat> the game was totally perfect for this role because well, he plays a reclusive Italian, a wealthy artist, um, and uh, who doesn't say much. Um, He's got an incredible presence and charisma, and a love. But but not only that, he's also got a lovely twinkle. Mm. He's got a lovely twinkle in his eye, and I think, um, you know, because the two ladies vie for him, um, and you'd naturally think that he might go for Joan's character, but in, in actual fact, he goes for Pauline's character, Priscilla. Yeah. And um, the chemistry between the two of those in the film, I think, is just you know, really special and very clever because it happens very quickly in, in movie terms. You know, they meet yeah. and they kind of, they connect very quickly, but I think they, 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 they sell that and make that feel very true and real. Yeah, no, it totally works, it totally works. Now, you um, were Oscar nominated for an earlier short film you yes. did, and uh, you also got a British Award nomination for working on Called Midwife. Well, uh, yeah, I mean, I've done a lot of, uh, I've done a lot of TV in the UK, so Call the that was quite a while ago, Call the Midwife, it feels. But that was a great show to work on. Um, Heidi Thomas, who writes it, I'd worked for before on a UK show called Lilies, uh, which had sadly never got picked up after one series, but it was brilliant, uh, set in Liverpool, period drama. But then Call the Midwife came along, and that was a total joy. Um, again, Heidi's writing is, you know, full of, Heart and warmth. I mean, it deals with lots of serious, hardcore kind of stuff. Um, you know, set in the fifties in London with these, with these midwives working away. You know, one episode I did that that baby dies right at the beginning. So it's all it's all pretty. It's tough, but she writes with such warmth and heart. Mm. Um, it's it's a joy to watch. Um, yeah, I'm great fun to work yeah, on. I do a lot of TV in the UK. Yeah, so. it's very good, popular here as well. Right. Yeah. yeah. Um, what's uh, coming up next for you? Uh, I am, well we only just finished this, the time of their lives uh, in January, February of this year, 2017, uh, and I've just hopped straight on to doing um, a TV show called The Durrells, which is a UK TV show based on uh, Gerald Durrell's books, My Family uh, and Other Animals. He's got famous in the UK, he was a naturalist, uh, and his family when he was in the 30s, 1930s, they moved to Corfu, and lived in Corfu for about four or five years, and it's about kind of a family adventure uh, in Corfu. Uh, so I'm, I'm delighted to hear that there's another season because my wife and I are addicted to that. Oh, right. <laughs> we yeah. absolutely love it. Oh, okay, girls. yeah, yeah. Well, I did season one, then I skipped season two to make the film, and then we're, we're li currently filming season three as we speak. Oh, it's terrific. If, yeah. uh, if you haven't seen it, you've got to watch this. So it's just lovely. It and is again, a lovely show. And again, shot in beautiful locations. Yeah, yeah. And wonderful characters. Yeah, yeah, it is. Well, Keely Halls, who plays the mother, who's the sort of lead part, she's, she's a brilliant uh, British actress, uh, very, very clever. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, we shoot all the exteriors in Corfu, and then uh, all the interiors are done at Ealing. So, yeah. Well, great. Well, thank you for this time, and thank you no, for coming thank, all the way out. Well, thank you to Wendy and Oakville for having me. You know, it's been wonderful. Yeah.